Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you all are in safe condition against this virus that everybody is trying to stay away from. So for today, since it's the start of Metro Manila's home quarantine or community quarantine, I decided to prepared to unboxing of the February 2020 Fatal box. So let's start. Okay, so I've received this weeks ago, I think two weeks ago, and I just haven't had the time to open it up. First off, of course, we have the monthly spoiler card which doubles as the monthly art print. So for this so for this month or the February month, we have the theme rule breakers. So the team rule breakers for February 2020. And first and foremost, we get this Serpent and Dove ceramic, ceramic mag, which is painted by Hair Wild and Co. So let's check it out. See the packaging. It's really good, so hopefully the mug is. Demo. Okay, so. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. So this is painted by Marvel and Co. I am so sorry for any background noise since everybody is at home. And of course the neighbors would really have to have noise so and if we it says here in the spoiler card that if you pick inside the mug you'll notice the serpent and dove sketch by Tara I don't know if you guys can see but there we go but this is really cool I love it I like this around mugs I had one from Fairy Loot, which is a Mortal Instruments inspired one, and I like this one. I really love the black, the black paint inside the mug. It gives it a more edgy look. All right, so let me just uh, put the mug back. So let's continue, and then. We'll proceed to the next item. So the next item we have is this Mordor luggage bag, which is designed by Bookmark Tattoos and Love You More Studio. This is of course inspired by Lord of the Rings. So and uh, it will obviously make a good accessory to your luggage, so you can easily identify which is yours. Let's just open it so you can so you guys can see the, the quality of the tag. So it has the details in the back. Looks like this. So next item is this lip balm. So this is a bookish lip balm made exclusively for favorite wood by Little Hearts Gift. It is it has a scent of strawberry prosecco and inspired by mischievous Malachi's from Wicked Saints. 
Đây, mình đi hoàn cảnh. Okay, the next, next item is it's a foil scarf. Look how gorgeous this is. This is really pretty. Let's check that out. So this is actually um, inspired by Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. It is Fairyloot um, had Fairyloot had that book at around June 2019. So take that this for this month's box. It's really cool. It says here that we had to include an item that celebrates the wonderfully brave and rebellious characters in it. There is Celeste's a cat, stack of books to represent the grimoires and forms for Nathaniel, and the foiled scarf features a stunning and shiny exclusive design by Tarja. This is really cool. I who doesn't like this? Seriously. It's so cool and so classy looking. Alright, so let's head on to the next one. So we have here is foiled bookmarks, foil bookmarks and stickers, which is inspired by uh, Never Denied series by J. Christoph. So this one, the first bookmark has the books we love, they love us back. And just as we mark our places in the pages, those pages leave their marks on us. So this is a really nice bookmark. It's so shiny. Then the other one says, Never flinch, never fear, and never ever forget. Don't you like that? This is really pretty bookmarks. I don't know if the camera or the video will do this justice, but it's really good looking in person. And of course, we have this uh, sticker. It says, too few centuries, too many books, which is really true. Okay, then what else we have? Of course, we have the monkey tarot cards, which is for this month we have nine and ten of cups, and this is designed by Gabriela Gabriela Budoso and inspired by Strange the Dreamer. We also have. This art print from uh, this art print, which is We Hunt the Flame art print by Noble and Tail, which is of course uh, inspired by We Hunt the Flame. And this is so pretty. I don't have the book though, but Looking at this art print, I might get one. Not so sure. We will see. Still have many back reading I need to do. I got too many two TBRs, but then again, who doesn't? So that's it. So let's check the spoiler card again. So we have the bookish lip balm. Yes. Uh, foiled scarf. Yes. Serpent and love mug. Yep. The art print, yes. Luggage tag, yep. Foiled bookmarks and sticker, yes. Um, and then the tarot cards, which is another All right, so we're down to the book of the month. So here is the book of 
the mold. Let me just um move this. Move the fairy box. Move the fairy loot box a bit so we can unbox the book of the month more properly. So okay, so this month's book of the month is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. So it says here that it is a soon worthy slitter in romance where the characters have an apologetically questionable morals. The edition has exclusive cover artwork on the dust jacket by fake enthusiast.org embossing and of course it is signed by the author okay let's check that one well, this embossing is really pretty and the art print superb it's so realistic And yes, of course, this is signed by the author. So let's check out what this book is all about. So it says in the synopsis that They've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart. And they never will. Alessandra is tired of being overlooked, but she has a plan to gain power. 1. Who the Shadow King. 2. Marry him. 3. Kill him and take his kingdom for herself. No one knows the extent of the freshly crowned Shadow King's power. Some say he can command the shadows that swirl around him to do his bidding. Others say they speak to him, whispering the thoughts of his enemies. Regardless, Alessandra knows that she deserves and she is going to do everything within her power to get it. But Alessandra is not the only one trying to kill the king. As attempts on his life are made, she finds herself trying to keep him alive long enough for him to make her his queen. All the while struggling not to lose her heart. After all, who's better for a shadow king? Than a cunning villainous queen. So this is really nice. We also have this um, mini scene in the back. It says here that my lovers all feel the need to give me nice things, very expensive things. It's been a fun game, learning their secrets seducing them, getting them to shower me with gifts. But to be honest, I'm bored with it. I have a new game in my mind. I'm going to woo the king. I suspect I suspect it won't be longer than a month before he helplessly in love with me. And when he proposes, I will say yes for the first time. For once the marriage is official and consummated, I will kill the Shadow King and take his kingdom for myself. Oh, so this really seems like a very fierce heroine that we have here. Very powerful woman, it seems. And it really seems like a good book for me. Alright, so we also, so aside from this, we have this, um, of course, every book had a matching art print which doubles as letter from the author so I'm just going to try and keep it steady right here so you can pause it and try to read the letter from the author if you like And then, 
also have a postcard for the shadows between us. It says here, after all, love is an excellent motivation to kill. And, and yeah, we also have the monthly bookmark, which is the same print as the monthly article. Yeah, the doubles as the spoiler cards. So tomorrow the 16th would be the unboxing photo challenge for this one and then the next day after would be mug and black and gold books. And then the 18th will be scarf and luggage tag and then the 19th would be of course the book and poker books. Alright so let's so let's see from the fairy book whether this one is a standalone or not. So first off, as you can see here, we have the differences between the exclusive copy of Fairy Loop and the standard edition. So the standard edition is red cover. So but the Fairy Loot one is is purple, it has an artwork on the reverse jacket, embossing, and of course signed by the author. So, uh, let me just read a few in this baby scoop so it looks like. A standalone, yeah. So this book is a standalone, I believe, because the next book that uh, the author is writing is actually a brand new duology, which is entitled this book play. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like what you see with this unboxing, as I really do. I. This book really sounds amazing and I can't wait to get back to my YA readings again. Currently, I'm into the historical fictions that I have, Philippa Gregory um, books. So I'm, I've been planning to do, to do those and finish them by 2020, hopefully. And yeah, so this time of the quarantine, I hope you guys have more time to read your, to read this. And I hope that you stay safe from the virus. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Also, if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell. If you have any suggestions or comments on how I do this, I, I would really appreciate it if you could comment it down below. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!